Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to just talk about applying paint to the canvas. Now, that sounds really obvious, we've done that in lots of videos, but the tool we're going to use this time is the lasso tool. So what it looks like is I have some paint here, and if I want to add an extra shape, instead of beginning with the brush tool, I'll start by drawing a shape with the lasso. Then once I have this shape, I can switch to the brush tool and then I can paint inside of that new mask. And if I deselect, you can see there's the final result. So what it did was it gave me a very quick and easy way to define a hard edge that I paint against. This is traditionally how airbrush artists would work with a physical airbrush. They'd lay down a masking material called frisket film, which was a clear plastic adhesive, and then they'd cut away a shape. And in that hole, they'd be able to apply their paint. Now, they were doing with an airbrush, not with a computer, but the idea was the same. It's defining the area that you're going to paint in, allowing you to make big gestural marks inside of that area while retaining a nice clean edge. Well, we are not airbrush artists, but the technique is still very valuable. So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about how to get used to this type of workflow so you could consider whether you want to use it for your own paintings. I think the best way to learn this new process is to give it a try for yourself. So we're each going to be sort of working on different paintings. And with that in mind, we're first going to create essentially a paint by numbers. So we're going to start with a photo. And with my photo ready, my goal here is to just make a traced line drawing. And the way I'm going to do that is just by lowering the opacity of my image here. I'll make a new layer and I'll just pick any brush. It really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to start tracing the shapes. Now you might wonder, why am I tracing? Isn't it bad form? Isn't this cheating? Well, no, because what I want to do here is work on applying paint. That's the study I'm going to do. I'm going to be using the lasso tool and learning how it can help me put paint on the canvas. Drawing is a totally separate topic. If I try and learn everything at once, it can be overwhelming. So for me, what I want to do is quickly get to the phase where I'm painting, and that means I'm going to take any shortcuts I can. So I recognize that tracing here is not making me better at drawing. But right now, that's okay, because my goal is to get better at painting. So I'm not getting too detailed with my tracing here, I'm just getting the major shapes, because my painting is not going to be all that detailed. I just want sort of a guideline to follow, so that I have the major areas of color that I'm going to then trace with my lasso tool. So at this point, I'm pretty happy. I think that's enough information. So I'm going to color code this one orange, just because I like to have my line art layers orange. Totally personal preference. So I'll hide that for a second. And then I'm going to make 100% opacity one more time, just so I have my original photo. Now next, my goal is to take my line drawing and to give myself color swatches. What these are going to do is just allow me to quickly use the eyedropper tool in my actual painting and to not have to worry about what color goes where. This is really very much like a paint by numbers. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to select a color that's in the image. I'm going to make a new layer and then I'm just going to make a big circle of that color. So here you can see this color matches the underlying image. But before you do that, there's something you're going to want to do to the eyedropper tool. When you select the eyedropper tool, in the top bar of the software, you can see there's a thing called sample size. And generally speaking, it's set to point sample, because normally that's what you want. Well, for this, there's so many little colors here that I could accidentally click a very dark grain of sand, and it's not really representative of this general area. Because my goal here is to sort of break this down into just a few example colors. And if all I want are example colors, what I'm really looking for is an average. So I'm going to change my sample size to either a 30 or a 50 pixel average. What that does is wherever I click, it's going to look in sort of the surrounding pixels and pick a reasonable average. So I'll do that in the areas that seem important to me. And then I'll draw a color. So here I'm really just getting a quick sampling of the colors in this image. And it's then going to serve as my guide when I do the actual painting. So with my colors ready to go, I can hide the original, so I just have my color examples. I can bring out my line drawing, and now I am ready to do my painting. 
So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use the lasso tool to start applying paint. But until then, I encourage you to go find an interesting photo and prep your canvas so it looks like mine. Lines on their own layer, color samples on another layer, and then hidden at the bottom, the original photo. And then when you're done with all that, don't forget, go back to the eyedropper tool and change your sampling back to point sample. The average was good for this assignment, but not good for general use. All right, I will see you in the next video and we'll do some lasso painting. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.